Welcome, Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News. It's September 19th, 2018, and uh, I got a major update coming to Climate Viewer 3D tomorrow. Pretty stoked about this. Something that hasn't been on Climate Viewer 3D in over five years. Um, I finally just had a aha moment I said you know what I'm gonna go back and do it the way I originally did it and uh, I'd like to introduce the new version of climate viewer 3d's rapid data viewer thing I call it the earth monitor but basically it goes like this you come to the map everything's still the same but up here at the very top there is a button that says earth monitor let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see that. And when you click on Earth Monitor, it's going to bring up a list. Now, if you don't see one in this list that you'd like added, right here's a submit a link, uh, map link by email. Um, give me your suggestions. But I think I pretty much got it covered. Um, what you got is alert and disaster maps, climate change, flight tracking, pollution maps, satellite imagery, satellite tracking, ship tracking, space weather, uh, weather uh, maps, and other. And uh, what's really cool about this is you never have to leave the page. You just do it all in pop-ups. So this is uh, really fun. Check this out. So RSO EDIS. Bring that up. You can make it full screen. Um, disaster Alert Center from Pacific Disaster Center. All built in, real time, works perfectly. Um, global Disaster Alert uh, Coordination System, Global Incident Map. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard about that one. Um, pretty cool. Lots of uh, different ways to find out bomb incidents. Um, hoax in <laughs> Virginia. Tons of fun there. Um, human trafficking map. Boy, this is a scary map. But regardless, it's there. It's real time. Um, health map. Disease outbreaks from around the world. Uh, you know, just that sort of thing. Um, obviously we've got earthquake quake tracking, you know, all of this is, most of this is already built into climate viewer. I mean, you can go to map list, add maps, and then go to alerts and go to earthquakes and you can track earthquakes. Yes, here. Um, but there's a lot of other really, you know, cool websites out there that I wanted to include. And that's why I have this earth monitor thing here. Um, so you can bring up the earthquake 3d, you know, that, uh, a lot of people have fun with Many of You've seen this online. Um, you know, the Iris earthquake browser. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this one, but it's pretty fancy along with their station monitor. Iris station monitor did the ground move near me. Um, and this is from something called earth scope. Uh, really cool product there. Um, some climate change stuff like climate level graphs. Um, you know, global CO2 levels. You drag it right here and zoom in, zoom in. Um, you know, things like that. Air nav radar, flight tracking. Pretty fancy little flight tracker here. Uh, air nav radar box. Um, there's a slight bug with the flight radar 24 for some reason it always does this page isn't working. They've got some kind of block on it. So just hit reload and then you've got flight radar 24 built in, um, moving on down. We have like a light pollution map. I don't know if you guys have ever even heard of light pollution, but it's a thing. So you can see where all the lights are and where it's pretty freaking dark. Um, you know, this shows you like, you know, major cities around the world, uh, you know, things like that. Tons of fun. Um, 
NASA Worldview, most of you are familiar with that one. Um, Worldview is now built in, so if you want to go over there and play with Worldview, it's on there. Um, goes 16 and 17, uh, full disc animations. So you can bring those up. Man, this is just too much fun for one, you know, this old guy. Um, but we got Go 16 and 17, the Himawari 8, and the Joint Polar Satellite System uh, built in now. So you can just bring those up. I have a collection of map sites from around the world that would blow most people's minds. And I use all of these to track simultaneously. And I've been working to integrate all of this information directly into the Climate Viewer 3D map. But this is a cool way for me to add, you know, other things like satellite tracking. Um, this one probably going to blow your mind. I used to have this when I was on Google Earth built in, um, but AGI stopped their uh, KML feed. So now you can actually see all of the satellites around the Earth in real time. They are actually moving. If you look real closely, you'll see that they are slowly moving. And this is um, part of the space fence. AGI actually does the space fence for the military. So if you click on these satellites, it'll tell you this is a non-operational one. Um, you know, what the name of them are, People's Republic of China. You know, you can go and see what satellites are over your home. So like right now I'm in South Carolina and uh, we have a United States uh, communications satellite right there. And we have a EU METSAT um, weather satellite floating over my hometown almost. So um, you can go by status. You can see backup or standby, um, whether there's space junk, things like that. Really cool. Um, another version of the same idea this is the ESRI satellite map um, and you can see this is like a point cloud kind of thing uh, so you can see all of the space junk so you hit junk and that is all space junk <laughs> pretty creepy to think you know we've really you know we've trashed the earth enough but man look at space dude that's a lot of junk dude um, so really fun stuff in there now. Uh, AG sat track N2YOs on there. Marine traffic, global um, shipping. Um, so you can see where all the ship tracks are coming from out in the Pacific. You can actually click on the vessel. It'll give you um, information about it. It's a cargo vessel. Um, you know, for full access, learn more, you pay us. Um, but that being said, I have several different versions of that. So you can go to Vessel Finder also, um, similar type map. And it actually has uh, the information on the, the vessels when you click on them, even with photos. So, and it's free of charge. Um, no photo on that one. But you get the idea. This is a rapid data viewer. Um, you know, everybody's favorite. The wind map is now built in. Ooh, you gotta love that. Um, so yeah, that, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, if you guys want me to add some to this, I will. I still have many more that I'm gonna go through. Um, this is the integrated space weather app. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this one, but this is from NASA and it has things like my CME tracker. And you can see that we just recently had a coronal mass ejection there. Even all of this stuff is resizable so you can bring it up, make it bigger. And that's the big burp from the sun coming out right there. So we can track space weather in real time. Um, and if you go up here to events, you can see that's where I got this in little cone. Um, click on that and you can see oh, that's the same one I just had up. This is where I got that one. And all of this stuff can be animated. Um, you got ionosphere, magnetosphere, heliosphere, 
solar activity um, with 16 pages so you can see like the stereo B um, you can organize these and you know actually save your layout it'll give you a bookmark so that you can save your own custom settings like you can move these around and place them where you want them um, space weather tracking built in now climateviewer.org um, real earth data viewer map um, another really cool one uh, this one has tons of information on it right now currently displayed is just next rad conus hybrid reflectivity mask and global infrared but you can actually go into layers all and you can see that this one has a ton of stuff in it um so you know things like clouds um the sims cloud phases uh wildfires true color color clear view um fires floods forecast um go 17 and 16 data um you know the list just goes on and on so this is similar to climate viewer but it's run by um, WISC.edu. It's called Real Earth. It's another one I use quite often. Um, the National Mosaic uh, Loop. So you can actually see the animated version of the next rad in real time. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to add in all of my you know monitoring links so that you know everybody can jump right in and uh, be able to quickly jump through them no of you data, data exploration tool um, it starts out in the ozone concentration so you need to hit back 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 to go all the way back to the beginning um, and then you click atmosphere true color you know things like that um, so there's many different maps on here that you guys can go through already um, and I'm going to continue to add to this section. I have many more um, links to add to it. But, you know, just having, um, you know, these disaster alert maps up here is going to really speed things up for me because I use this daily myself. And I'm sure that you guys are going to, you know, have fun, um, you know, digging into some of these. Uh, drug interdiction map, border security, aviation incidents globally. Um, and as you can see, like these are all the airline events that have happened recently. That's a bunch of recent airline problems. Plane crash with fatalities. Houston police officer mistakenly fires AR-15 at Hobby Airport baggage claim. <laughs> oh my god. Oh lord. There's nothing like good news, right? Um, so guys, this is coming tomorrow. Um, I've still got a bunch of uh, new features that I'm adding to the map as we speak. Um, I just finished the plane crash uh, list. So I added all of these today. Um, so commercial aviation crashes from 1971 to present plus uh, commercial propeller driven airplane crashes 1920 to 1960 and the Malaysian Airlines M MH17 shot down by SA-11 um, things like that you know everybody remembers the MH17 so I'm still adding some of my maps back to Climate Viewer 3D and Climate Viewer Mobile and I'm going to push all this probably up to the website tomorrow. But check out the Earth Monitor. If you know of a really cool map that you'd like to see in here, um, please click the Submit a Map link button up here at the top. That'll send an email to me, and I'll add it to the list. Um, it's going to be freaking awesome um, because, you know, the more information we can pack into this thing, the more you're going to know at a moment's glance. And that's the whole idea behind Climate Viewer 3D is to be able to see the entire world at a glance, um, to track it all, and you know, knowing is half the battle, as the saying goes. So... Guys, uh, that's my update for today. I've been working on this most of today. I will be pushing this up to the website tomorrow. So check climateviewer.org for that tomorrow. Um, and, you know, 
keep in touch you know let me know what you think um you know if you want to leave a comment you can always hit the about page and come down here and just drop me a comment in the comment section or join the chat you know you can click over here chat rooms right here and that'll take you over to our um climate viewer chat on discord uh, we got 189 members over there already um so you know be you know just get involved you know let me know what you think um tell me what you what i'm doing wrong what i could do better i always like to hear um your comments and uh i greatly appreciate everybody's support um i will continue to evolve this map um that's part of the fun of all of this and you know of course if you can donate by supporting me on patreon paypal or gofundme um, everything I'm doing is for free. Part of it's for fun, but all of it's for you. So, um, you know, this is your world and knowing is half the battle. The other half is me spending 10 hours today coding on the darn website. So anyway, I just wanted to drop you guys a quick update because I was pretty pleased with how this turned out. And I'm very excited about this new version. Um... It's going to be pretty cool. Um, you know, I, man, just super stoked about it. And it's fun to have the satellite tracking back and the ship tracking and the plane tracking. And I'm sure there will be many more additions to this list as uh, people start to submit their links. Um, I have this heads up display uh, folder, as you can see right here. I've been going through this is several years worth of maps that I, you know, have collected um, along with this monitoring link section. I've got sounding maps and all of that. I'm going to be adding all of that in um, so you can dig in. So that's my update for today, guys. I really appreciate you guys supporting me and uh, continuing to use climateviewer.com. It is available at climateviewer.org free of charge. Um, please share it with your friends. Try it out yourself. If it does not work for you, if you come to the front page and you have a black screen and you don't see this map in the background, this 3D globe, make sure that you hit the 2D mobile map up. Um, when you first come here, it says so right here. If this map right here, if this map does not load, please try our mobile app. Um, if you don't have 3D support on your video card, um, if your computer does not support OpenGL or WebGL or your browser does not, this version definitely will work. It is identical to um, Climate Viewer 3D. It's just a flat map. Um, and some of you flat earthers out there will probably pr <laughs> uh, prefer the flat version anyway. So it's available at climateviewer.com slash mobile. Um, and then it's called Climate Viewer Mobile. So guys, um, I'm going to continue to plug away on this thing. I had too much fun coding on it today. Um, and I just wanted to make a real quick video and show you guys, you know, the, the latest updates that are coming. And uh, I've still got close to 110 maps to add um, to get it back to where it was um, before I made this major overhaul of the map. So I'll be plugging away at that. And then I've got some you know, new stuff that I'm going to be adding. I have 10 maps planned right now that are going to be pretty freaking epic. Um, like rocket launch sites worldwide, every single Antarctic um, research base um pig farms you know where they've got the you know the piss pools and all of that sort of stuff um i want to map out the algae problem down in florida um a lot on my to-do list and you know we'll take it one day at a time because this is a marathon not a sprint and uh you know i want to make sure that i have fun again and for me mapping is my fun and for you it's informational and it, it really you know if a picture is worth a thousand words a map is worth several million imo tbh 
So love you mean it out there. Um, thank you for all your support. And guys, continue to stay tuned to climateviewer.org. Um, the update will probably come late tomorrow. And you'll see the Earth Monitor. When you see Earth Monitor up on the menu bar, you'll know that um, I've updated it. And uh, like I said, submit your links. And um, continue to, you know, spread the word about Climate Viewer 3D. It's, you know, Internet's greatest uh, kept secret. Um, the NSA map guarantees that, you know, Facebook, Google, Twitter, and the NSA specifically don't really want anybody to see this map to begin with. Um, so it's, you know, caring individuals like you sharing the map and using it that, you know, keep it going. And um, I really appreciate you. So, you know, there's a lot of information packed into this one little app and with information comes great power and with power comes great responsibility. So please remember to use this to attack ideas, not people.